If you maintain equipment purchased by customers for service repairs or warranties, the optional Service Manager module allows you to track this item and associated transactions and include the equipment on work orders. When a customer buys an item that is eligible for service tracking and the Service Manager module is implemented in Spire, you can access the equipment list either from the top Customers menu and the Equipment selection or when you edit the customer and open the Equipment tab. On this list, only equipment items for this customer are displayed. And when opening the top menu equipment list, all customer equipment is shown. On either screen, you can add a new record for the purchased item, or edit an existing equipment item. On the Equipment Details screen, all field labels are all customizable within company settings, to use them as you require. This includes up to five additional text fields. When adding values to either the Make or Model fields, previously saved choices are available from drop-down lists, where the model selections are dependent on whatever was chosen for the Make. Additionally, you can store a numerical reading value for usage or other purposes. The Customer Number field is editable, in case the ownership of the item is transferred to someone else, and information and history can be seen for future work orders for the new owner. On the History tab, you can see the list of any previous sales invoices that included this equipment, and double-click on one to drill down to the sales history invoice information. And similar to many other records stored in Spire, you can create communication notes to keep track of other information of interest, or include attachments such as an extended warranty agreement form, and user-defined fields for keeping information not already available to enter on the Details tab. When creating a sales transaction for a service call related to equipment, you typically will enter details for non-physical items, such as for labor or parts or similar. If you want different detail types to be organized on the printed form, you can add comments or job headers as section header text labels. You may want the order type to be a work order if you wish to use a different document numbering sequence than sales invoices. Then on the Service Info tab, you can select the equipment number code to load the record from the customer into the order for display. Or if that equipment hasn't been entered yet, it can be created on the fly by using the plus button. After the equipment is selected, you can also include an estimated amount for service if this is for a quote, and a new reading value to track usage. And any previously posted service invoices are listed here in the history area, if any exist in case this affects the estimated or billed amount for this invoice. As part of the service process, you may want to print a work order report for the labor and parts associated with the customer equipment in a form you can customize to include the information and layout you want. And if a separate invoice form is desired for the customer to include any payment if given, you can print this after the invoice is posted. This invoice will then appear in the Equipment History List for future tracking. If you would like more information about Spire Accounting, access the link in the description below to our homepage. Read the online manual help for additional assistance. Watch more videos from this playlist. And subscribe to the Spire YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.